Hello. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add or remove plugins on Audacity. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to launch your Audacity application, which of course I have done right here. Now, how do you get application for Audacity? Pretty much simple. Launch in the browser of your choice. In the search bar, type Audacity is going to take you to the official website. Follow the on-screen prompt and instruction to download and install. And once you're done installing, it's going to take you to this fantastic homepage where you can now explore a lot of features to have a great time in Audacity. So how do you add or remove plugins on Audacity? I'm going to show you right away. So first, let us um, create a voice effect. I don't know if it's necessary, but then I just think we should. So head over to this um, red icon right here. So just click on it and then let's go. Hi, welcome to Basic Value Channel. And just like the name implies, we're bringing the maximum value in just few easy steps. So go ahead and click on this to stop it. So now that we have this, I don't think this is necessary, but I just felt like doing that. So if you want to add or remove plugins and Audacity, head over to the top corner of the screen and go to Effects. So now during Effects, you can see the first thing you want to see there is Plugin Manager. So click on Plugin Manager and it's going to open this up to you. So these are the plugins available, okay? These are the plugins available. So the first thing we're gonna let you know is how to remove. So you cannot really remove, but you can disable and fix right here. So let's say this is, so let's say removal is tantamount to disabling, okay? But this is auto dock and it's a built-in effect. So let's say I'm just gonna click on that. So if I want to disable it, all I just need to do is to click on disable and it is disabled. The status has changed and disabled. And if I want to enable it because I want it to be enabled, all I just need to do is to click on enable and it's enabled. So if I want to remove, just disable and then it's just going to stop working. And if I want to enable it, I'm just going to enable it and it's going to start working. So if I want to add a plugin, let's like an external plugin, all I just need to do is to head over to the Audacity plugin site, which is this. Look at the um, URL plugins.audacityteam.org and it's going to take you here where you have a lot of plugins. So here's a plugin. I would like you to know these are all of the plugins that you can choose from. And I would like you to know, sweet, sweet, that if you, let's say when you install a plugin, just like it says, you're automatically enabled the next time you restart Audacity. So once you install a plugin from here, just restart Audacity and you're going to see it's going to be enabled. So head over to Plugin Manager, which is there, and then click on Rescan Plugins. And once you rescan plugins, you're going to see the plugin that you added. So let's say I want to add a plugin here, the speech and tempo plugin. I'm just going to click on that and see how the installation process works. So here you have music, FX, speech. I'm just going to click on this for more details of this. So, so these are the details all the way down. And um, let's say see the pack for installation instructions has um, modes optimized and um, all of this, all of this, all of this. So, so this is it. So all around there. Okay. Okay. So there's more of um, an image. I'm just gonna have to go all the way back. All right. Okay, so that actually is not enabling me to install. So let's head over to the next, see the details of this. This is the details and then see the pack for installation. So click on the pack and let's see how it works. Okay, so this is a problem from Audacity. So here is it. So once you're able to click, so we don't have to like spend too much time. Once you're able to click on the pack and then it takes you to the process where you can install and then you successfully install the plugin right here from the site. All you need to do is to refresh your Audacity application. So just exit, just how do you refresh? Go ahead and click on your, your Audacity and then 
so you have to go back to just exit and once you click on this exit then open it again and once you open it again now you can now head over to effects and then click on um plugin manager and then head right here to rescan and once you rescan you can see that the plugin will be reflected automatically that's what it's trying to let you know so this is it okay so now that we're here so this is like download page so you can now go ahead and and download this okay to it and then see how that works for you okay this has to be paid or this plugin has to be paid for just so just go ahead and select the one that is just free for you to use and then once you're done and then you download and then you install successfully just pull it through the process refresh and you're going to see that work for you fine fine okay so here's it so go over to the tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps and once you're done you'll be good to go i hope this video helped you search